Hi everyone, uh, my cameraman's disappeared today, so just excuse me while I am just trying to get this go live, making sure it's going live, and uh, I think we're okay. I think we're good. I think we're okay. So I have no idea where my cameraman has gone. As per, he just has left me in the lurch, and uh, I thought I'd go back to what I know really well, and that's using natural products, uh, herbs and spices, in a beauty regime. So I'm going to show you good old turmeric mask again, but some other things as well uh, that you, you may even have it in your pantry already. So let's have a look. Uh, I'm just going to just make sure I'm, I'm actually watching myself on my iPad just because I want to make sure I've got the camera and audio and everything set up fine. So, so today I am going to do the turmeric face mask. I'm also going to do a uh, nutmeg uh, scrub for your hands because my hands are looking a bit funny today. Too much gardening and too much sun. So uh, really it will just be... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to crack up. Just be trying to reduce the wrinkles on my hands. Nutmeg's good for your skin as well, so I'll tell you about that. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> cumin. Cumin is really good. It's actually our spice of the month. And we had it on some yummy salmon last night. And I'm actually going to show you how cumin is very good for your hair. Not only does it help promote the growth of your hair, some people actually say it helps grow your hair, literally, um, but also shiny, it, it makes it shiny and it strengthens it. And it's, it has been known to help a very dry scalp. So we're gonna do a hair mask. Uh, and last but not least, we're going to use some fennel seeds, which I've made into a tonic. And I'm just going to do a little uh, eye compress, but fennel's also very good f as a toner, uh, as a cleanser. It helps with wrinkles, which I need at the moment around my eyes. So I thought I would do that. So let's start. We're going to start with the turmeric face mask. So turmeric. Just good old ground turmeric, Mrs. Rogers ground turmeric. And I've got it here, about half a teaspoon today. Uh, I don't want to be too yellow for school pickup and everything. And I've got some honey and I've got some yogurt. So I'm just going to put them all on my bench here so that I can uh, use my brush and stick it all together. Now I have uh, got the turmeric. I'm going to pop that into the yogurt. So, yep, just feeling a bit out of sorts today under the weather. And I've got the honey. I'm going to put that in too. I might have to use a teaspoon on my right-hand side if I can't uh, do that with my hands. Yep, yeah, I'm going to pop that in. I might just have to push that off with my hands. Jeez, I'm messy today. God, it's not normally like me. I'm normally very clear. I'm going to... I'm going to squeeze a teaspoon a bit because that apparently helps. I'm not going to do it with my hands. I'm going to do it with a brush. And I've got the brush on my left-hand side. There we go. Now, this brush is um, its actually a foundation brush. I need to stir that in a bit more because uh, I don't want to have yellow patches on my face. Can I see if I can stir that in? Um, I've got some on the right-hand corner of the... Yeah, that's it. I'm really getting it in there. Okay, I think that should be safe enough. Um, now, remember with uh, the turmeric face mask, it's really good for uh, irritation. Uh, so if your skin's a bit irritated, it will help reduce that. Uh, it also has been known to have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory uh, properties. I'm just gonna start putting that on my face now, maybe on my nose a bit, just not on my eyes, because uh, if I get it in my eyes, that will really hurt. Um, and it's supposedly good for evening out your skin tone. So turmeric has been used. Uh, in I'm not going to put it on my mouth because I can't talk. 
Um, <laughs> but I am going to uh, concentrate on my nose and my cheeks and a bit on my forehead, especially that bit between my eyebrows and nowhere near my eyes because if it gets in my <laughs> eye, uh, that will be very painful. So I'm going to just keep going. I think I need a bit more on there. I need a bit more. I might just give up with the brush and use my hands, but there we go. I'm going to just gently exfoliate my skin at the same time. Turmeric just has a um, really good, it's not good for my hair, so I'm not going to stick it in my hair, but really good gentle exfoliant. All my eyes, right. So, because my hands are really messy, I'm going to move on now to the uh, nutmeg scrub. Now, you can use this scrub, actually I'll just tidy up in front of me because it's um, going to cause issues. Um, if I don't have a bit of a clean bench. Somebody will be cleaning that later, not me. And that one too. So, uh, I'm going to get a big bowl of water in front of me, directly in front of me, carefully. I'm not going to wash my hands yet. I am just going to use nutmeg. So, I've got two containers in front of me. Now, and I'm just going to not spill that because that's milk, so keep it upright. And I'm going to put this down on my board. So down on my board. Now I just want to show you how I made the nutmeg uh, using my little grater and a little bit of nutmeg which I used. So this is a very fine grater, it's, it's one that I use a lot and you literally just grate it. <laughs> no skin required in the nutmeg and we're just grating. Okay, so you can, you can see how I've done it. So we can pop that down. Now I'm going to carefully get the pour the milk into the nutmeg. So I just want to pour the milk into the nutmeg. Is that right? The, yes. <laughs> and then I'm just going to stir that nutmeg up with my finger. Now you can use this on your face as a gentle exfoliant if you want, but I've got the turmeric mask and I wanted to show you this on your hands. Okay, so with one hand I'm going to pour it into the other hand like a cup. Jeez, my hands are looking terrible. And I'm just going to scrub that all together. I, I'm paying particular attention to the rough bits I'm around my cuticles and that, and I'm hoping it might get some of the sun damage that I seem to have uh, got on my hands. So I'm just going to scrub that in and then rinse it off. You, you could leave it on if you want. It really doesn't have any benefits to leave it on. I'm not going to put it on my face because it might cause an irritant to the turmeric or I don't know. I've never put nutmeg on my face yet. So I'm going to wash my hands gently because it's very full. I'm going to have to do a lot of cleaning and I'll dry my hands. Now next is the hair mask but I just want to move the big bowl of water out of the way and next to the iPad of my cameraman so that he's aware that I take care of his things. Now, so we're going to do the hair mask. So I've got yogurt, I have got uh, coconut oil, and I have made a tonic out of the cumin seeds. Now what I've done is put a tablespoon of cumin seeds in about half a cup of water. I've brought that up to the boil and then just taken it down to simmer it until I've got a good tablespoon of, um, of a cumin seed sort of tonic. Let that cool and then obviously just drain off the water. I'm not going to flick that round too much because it's actually better on my head as opposed to on the bench. So I'm just going to add that to the yogurt, to the big bowl. I'm going to add that yep, to the big bowl of yogurt or yogurt and I'm going to be careful because this is glass and I'm going to put the coconut oil in as well. Now I have slightly softened it in the um, microwave but not to the point where it's a full blown oil because I just don't want to have it all dripping down my face too much. So I'm going to put that into the yogurt and cumin. Now I'm actually using an old school pastry brush. Not my fingers, not my fingers because that's a bit gross. An old school pastry brush over here is a black one, yep. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to stir that together. Um, now you could use an egg yolk if you wanted to, however I go bleh with egg yolk so <laughs> I uh, like to use yogurt. It's really just something to carry it out. I'm going to stir it a bit more just so that I can make sure I've got all the, th the consistency right and everything. 
It's a shame half the coconut oil is on the bench, but never mind. Question, okay. Question on oh, the there's a question. Reggie. Oh, yes. Yep, it is very cheap, Reggie. It's, um, and most of the time you've got the products in your cupboard. So, yeah, give it a go. Anyway, I'm going to show you. You just want to pop this um, like you would at the hairdresser um, on your hair. Uh, you want to paint it all over your hair best you can. Try and get to the roots because obviously it's it's the roots that are, are where the magic happens with hair growth. Um, and we want to go with the hair, not against the hair. It, it's like patting a cat or a dog. You want to go with the fur, not against it. So we just want to, and we might want to just part the hair so that we can just yeah push it back off the face, get it all in there. Yeah, you could just use your hands if you want to at home. You could just kind of rub it on your head a bit. Um, I can feel that. It's nice and cool, really good. I have very dry hair and very thin hair, so this will be excellent. Man, that's cold. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Now, uh, you could get a clip and put that up, or uh, you could just sit with that. About half an hour you want to leave that on for. So I hope the audio is okay out there, everybody. My cameraman still hasn't come up. Yep, because that's how you put in a hair clip. Okay, so last but not least, oh, I just wipe my hands up here because I am just going to do a tricky thing. Now I'm nearly ready to uh, go and uh, have a bit of a relax. Uh, now, I've made a, a fennel seed compress for my eyes. However, you can make this, you can actually drink this. So let me tell you, um, about a teaspoon of fennel seeds to half a cup of water. And again, with the cumin, I'm not going to drink this one, it's too strong. Um, but again, with the cumin, you can uh, just bring that to the boil and then bring it down to a simmer until you've got about the right amount that you want. That was very messy. Let's move that cumin packet so that we don't end up with it soaking at the bottom. Please, with our right hand, can we go forward? Yep, and move, because it's got milk all over it now. And we might want to take a photo of that later. So, I uh, before I set this on my eyes, um, I just want to tell you about fennel. It's very good for your skin. Um, you can use it as a toner. So if you want to do the same concept, you can just uh, use it as a toner, make a, a tonic out of it. Uh, it's, it's very good for unclogging pores and things like that. Do it sort of once or twice a week. Um, apparently it has been known to help delay wrinkles uh, and fight acne as well. So. I thought I'll use it on my eyes because they're the wrinkliest part of me apart from my forehead which has uh, a turmeric mask on it so I don't need to do that. So with the uh, little iPads that I've got here, they're just cotton iPads you get from a supermarket. I'm just going to soak those, both of them, both of them in there and soak up all that goodness and then I'm just going to unfold them. No, that's one, that's just one. So I'm just going to spread that one out. I'm just going to spread them out. And I'm just going to put it on my eyes. But before I do, I'm going to say thanks for watching, everyone. If anyone sees uh, my cameraman, please tell him to hurry back because doing a live without me, without him, well, without me is par, but without him is near impossible. So I'm hoping audio is fine. If you've got any questions or comments, please let me know. I will, of course, put all my recipes up uh, in this post, as well as uh, maybe if I can clean up my kitchen, do a retag. And I'm going to go and pop these things. You need to lie down with them on. But I'll tip my head back. I'll um, not whack my eyes because that hurts. It's a little bit like whacking other parts of the body. And, um, oh, that one's falling off a bit, that eye. So, so guys, just to wrap up, I've got a turmeric face mask on. I cleansed my hands with a nutmeg scrub. I've got a nice cumin seed yogurt and coconut oil hair mask on. And some fennel seed compresses on my eyes. So, in about half an hour, I should be looking pretty good. So thanks for watching, everyone. I'll put my uh, recipes up really, really soon. And uh, yeah, have a great Thursday. Okay, now, I, sorry, everyone. I've got to walk around blind and try and stop the uh, show.